What is your full name? My name is Amanpreet Kaur. Where are you from? I am from Patna. It is a small town in district Patiala. Okay. Do you study or work? I am a student. I have recently passed Bachelor of Computer Application from Punjab University Patiala. How do you organize your time as a student? I am a student so that I make a schedule of my everything and uh, I do all things on proper time so that I give proper time to my study and uh, sometime I do enjoy with lot of things so that uh, I make a timetable of everything. What are the best education tools for learning? According to me, uh, people can learn with lot of ways such as they can uh, learn from YouTube because there are lots of channels available and they can learn everything from YouTube about their study and everything. How do you travel? I travel by car because it is convenient for me and I feel relaxed when I travel by car. Okay. What means of transportation do you prefer and why? I prefer to car because uh, it is easy to me and uh, I feel more comfortable when I travel by car and uh, I feel uh, more comfortable during car traveling. Okay. Let's continue with questions related to traveling. How did you travel to school? I traveled by bus. Have you ever traveled to school by car? Yes, sometime uh, I missed my bus, so that time my father dropped me to for my car. Do you prefer the front seat or the back seat in the car? I prefer to front seat because I can see open view uh, when I sit on front seat and uh, I feel more relaxed when I sit on front seat. What was your longest journey by car? Last Sunday, I went to Amritsar with my family member. That time, I we enjoyed a lot with my family members because uh, I see a lot of new things in this journey. Okay. What do you do when you are stuck in a traffic jam? It is a very boring situation so that I prefer to listen music and uh, when I go with my company, then uh, I prefer to talk with them. Have you ever gotten lost? I had never got lost because I always uh, go outside with my family members so that I do not uh, go any places that uh, unaware. Uh... Is it easy to get lost in your city? No, it is not uh, easy because uh, our people are aware about uh, my city So and uh, sometimes uh, children get lost in my city and uh, that time our people give help to children. Can you read a map well? Yes, I read a map because I learned in my school and I know about all directions so that it is easy to use for me. Have you ever helped someone who got lost? Yes, last Sunday I went to Amrisa. That time I give a help to one couple who asked about me way of us. Okay. In this part two, I will give you a two minute topic. You will have one minute to prepare. And you have to speak for one to two minutes. I can stop you in between as well. Here is your cue card. And this is your paper and pencil. May I start? Yes. I know about numerous persons who have deep knowledge and here I would like to talk about my grandmother. She is a good mentor and I know my grandmother since from my birth. In fact, she was there when I was born and we spend a lot of time together and we do a lot of activities together such as eating and yoga and others. And she is a very creative person and she made a lot of things from waste material and she decorated my house with a lot of things such as she used plastic bottles and make a flower pot and when anyone come in my house then I ask about these things and give praise to my grandmother and my grandmother make a channel on YouTube and she always put videos on YouTube and all people give positive response about their work and I admire her because she is very good in everything and whenever I stuck in problem and she always give me a right guidance about my work and she always give the always tell me what is wrong and right for me so that I learn a lot of things about my work and I share my own problems with her because she always gives me a solid solution and 
she is a good mentor in their past life because she is a school teacher and that day she always give a wrong uh, she always give right guidance to every people and she always give help to poor and needy people with money and lot of things and uh, i want to become a uh, as like my grandmother because uh, i uh, gra grasp a lot of things from my grandmother in my nature because she always uh, told me that uh, uh, she always uh, uh, tell me that uh, we should speak to truth to other people and respect to other people and love to uh, children so that uh, i want to enhance my lifestyle with the help of my grandmother because uh, all my family members uh, give respect to my grandmother and she is a uh, she is a main family member in my family and uh, i admire her because of her qualities such as leadership qualities moral values and others and i learned lot of things about my lifestyle from her all right can i have a pencil back Okay, in this part three, I will ask you a few questions. Do you think you can relate to that person? Yes, I can compare my lifestyle with her because I learned a lot of things from my grandmother such as uh, telling her truth uh, and uh, give respect to elder people and uh, a and love about children. Do you think that older generation can learn something from the younger generation? Definitely older people can learn from a younger generation because sometimes they cannot aware about new technology and that time a younger generation can give help to older people. For example, older people do not aware about an electronic gadget and they can use it with the help of a younger one. Can older people learn anything else than technology? Yes. Older people. Like you said, from the younger generation, they can learn about technology, gadgets. Can they learn anything else than that? Definitely, older people can lot of things uh, uh, from younger one which is not related to technology, such as uh, new generation much aware about their health issues and uh, they are more uh, uh, they are more now about uh, uh, their diet uh, diet plan and uh, uh, older people can set their lifestyle with the help of. Uh, younger generation do you think people from the older generation can be friends with the younger generation it depends on people behavior some people like to make a friend of older generation because they like to spend time with older people for example uh, one friend in my neighborhood that like to spend time with their grandfather and grandmother so that uh, some people like to make a friend of older people on the other hand some some people do not like to do you think nowadays younger people are more respectful towards older people than they used to be in the past? In my opinion, nowadays people are use more technology and they have no time to spend with older people so that they don't they do not give respect to elder people. Uh, on the other hand, in past time uh, they do not spend uh, they did not spend time on technology and uh, they they spend time uh, with their elder people so that uh, they give more respect to their elders. All right, this is the end of your speaking test. Now I would like to give you your feedback. You're very fluent, that's really good. But work on your pronunciation. Your pronunciation of YouTube and gadgets. It was wrong. And then you said cannot aware. You, you can say he was not aware, he's not aware, but cannot aware is wrong. Then you said uh, younger generation is aware about health issues. They are health conscious. Better sentence, okay? They are aware about their health. Overall it was good and then you said the people give praise to your grandmother. You can say people praise my grandmother. Fine. For our qualities. And overall it was good speaking test. Keep it up. You can score very well in the real speaking test. Good luck. Bye bye.